Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode on Mind Crack. And here we are in the same spot we were last episode when we ended. Uh, I thought that I would have time to figure out exactly what I wanted the pattern to look like between episodes. But that didn't happen. So here we are. Uh, normally, what I would do is I would figure it out before I recorded, but a few things are going on. First is that I have been so busy, like really, really, really busy. And second is that I want, I have so many stories to tell you. I have so much to say. And um, because I've been busy, I don't have much time. So here's what we're going to do. I thought, um, first, we're just going to talk. We're going to talk this episode and build a little bit on this. Um, and I was thinking also off camera that this should really all be built on a half slab. So it should be a half block everywhere. And that way these guys don't spawn. So we don't get pigmen up in our nether areas. That sounds dirty. And so I'm going to go ahead and just put down half slabs. And then we can build the design out of full blocks kind of sticking up out of the half slabs and then I don't know if we can even light that to make sure that pigmen won't spawn but anyway I'm gonna slap down some half slabs over all of this and then that will be our foundation moving forward give me this give me your inventory floating crafting table well some of the things that I wanted to talk to you about is that over the weekend I went to mine fair like I talked about in last episode and it was such a fantastic time. I had a great time at Mine Fair, let me tell you. So, this was the first time I've ever been to a Mine Fair, and it's the it's I think only the second Mine Fair ever. So, a uh, pretty small group of uh, people um, that have ever been to a Mine Fair before. I think there was one in Philly before this. Anyway, had a great time. Uh, not only was the convention fun, and I would say it's not quite, I would almost say it's an expo, to be honest, if you think about it. Because there aren't really any panels. I mean, there are, they're on a main stage, but it's all in one big convention hall. There's not like extra rooms or you know things off to the side like that doesn't exist it's all just in one big room basically and they had a main stage at the back and they had a whole bunch of booths set up and then some like fun little areas like they had a big lego area they also do the people who put it on also do a lego convention or a lego i don't know maybe it's an expo depends on how technical you want to get anyway so that's what it kind of felt like. So there wasn't, there was some main stage stuff, like some talks about uh, different, like how, how some people recorded some things. The guys who made the roller coasters, uh, the roller coaster, um, they did the Beetlejuice roller coaster and a few other really cool roller coasters. Um, and I remember the Beetlejuice one, obviously, because that one was like so amazing when it came out. And then they even they outdid themselves on the other roller coasters. And I can't believe it. No one remembers. They all remember just the Beetlejuice one. Anyway, though they were there. They were giving a talk. Um, who else? Um, the oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm so sad that I'm forgetting his name. I'm the worst with names. I was trying to tell a story about celebrities during the convention and I was like oh that one guy that uh, he directed uh, the uh, Star Trek and lost and, blah, and someone's like J.J. Abrams I'm like, oh yeah J.J. Abrams okay anyway moving on uh, I can't remember usernames it's embarrassing because I really respect and adore these people and now I'm forgetting their usernames but um, he works with Stampy and it, Stampy did an animated series with a wizard and he's the voice of that wizard and uh, he's in a whole bunch of Stampy's videos um, let call him Wizard because I'm totally forgetting his username and his real name. Uh, got to meet him. He did a he did a talk about all sorts of stuff on the main stage. That was really cool to see. I did four different signing sessions, uh, ninety minutes each, and uh, with an hour break in between. 
Um, there was two a day. So that was a ton of fun. And I got to meet so many amazing people. I really did. It was so cool. Um, some of the people I got to meet was um, the first person. I, I got to hang out so much. Uh, in fact, you know what? I want to go like find a list. I'll be right back. Okay. I, I found a list, so I'll, I'll actually uh, make sure to say everyone's username right and uh, not screw up. Uh, and by the way, the person I was talking about before who was the wizard is Adam Clark. Uh, we got to eat dinner with him, and me and him were like connecting about like Blade Runner and comics and all sorts of stuff. He's just a great guy and uh, really, really, I don't know, just like I, I could just tell that me and him would totally get along uh, really well. Given, given if we had more time, but I hung out a lot uh, with Shovel, and that was she was like so cool. I signed right next to her, and um, I don't know. That was that was a connection that I have known of her. Uh, she was part of the the Game Changer charity live stream when I did that, and Mousy Mouse. I got to meet Mousy Mouse and hang out with Mousy Mouse a lot. Not quite as much um, as Shovel, but uh, but you know, still got got a lot of time to hang out and get to know um, them. Uh, also, Sally Green Gamer is there, and I have met her before at um, what was it Twitch? No, was it my was it Minecon the other other year? I don't remember. I don't remember. But I remember we went to Dave and Buster's together uh, for a mine for a uh, um uh, uh why am I why am I forgetting this right here whatever this is there we go where are you Mindplex why am I forgetting Mindplex uh, for a Mindplex party I met her there and uh, we talked and had had a lot of fun she is such an amazing human and uh really really cool and really 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 genuine i got to hang out and talk with her a lot and who else um did i hang out with a lot um beck bro jack uh he was sitting right next to me when we signed and so you know of course we're there for like you know 90 minutes so like it's a lot of time to to kind of get to know somebody um, I'm trying to think. Oh, Mango Tango, he was there as well, and um, I've got to talk and hang out with him a little bit more than I I met him in the past, like briefly, and so it was really cool to um to see him again. Um, but anyway, so uh, then near the end of the convention, or actually, I guess after the convention ended. Um, we all went and got barbecue together. So there was a dinner. Okay. So first off, let me tell you, I have so much to tell you about this weekend. Uh, there was, I decided to get an Airbnb. I decided to get an Airbnb. I was like, you know what? I've never really gotten an Airbnb as a hotel replacement before. You know, normally I only do Airbnbs if it's a big group and we need a house, but I was like, you know what? I like Airbnb. I've liked that experience so far. Let's see what we can get. So I did an Airbnb. Boy, do I regret it. I regret it so much. So let me let me tell you. We walk through the front door. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm with uh, uh, a guy who uh, Josh who helps work on um, OMG Craft and uh, helps with all sorts of other stuff. Uh, he was going with me, and so we walk through the door and. There is, there's a, so it's an apartment. It's definitely an apartment. It's not like, I don't know, set aside or like a condo. You know, I've had those before, but definitely an apartment in an apartment complex. No big deal. Uh, walk through the door. There is a T-Mobile bag, like sitting on the front of the counter. And it's like full, filled with stuff. It's like, wait, what? And then, uh, you know, we've been traveling a long time. Go use the bathroom. The bathroom uh, toilet will not flush. It flushes, but it like it doesn't do a job. It doesn't do the job of flushing. It's like, oh my gosh. So you flush it three more times. Finally, it works. It's like, oh my God. Then go to wash my hands right after using the bathroom. I start off in the kitchen um, because, you know, we've been moving around trying to get the thing to flush. Uh, no hand soap. 
Okay, oh, go back into the bathroom. Still no hand soap. Go back to the kitchen. Guess I'm using dish soap for that. Dish soap my hands up. And then reach for a towel. Nah, nope, no towels. Also, this is the point where you realize there's like dishes and stuff sitting on the counter. It's like, oh god, this is this is turning out not so great. Uh, look for towel, no towel, no hand towel anywhere. The only option is to use your shower towel. <laughs> so I go and get uh, my shower towel and use that instead. Then, um, uh, oh, by the way, there's only two towels. So th that shower towel, only towel. There's two towels in the whole place. Uh, one for me, one for Josh. And uh, that's it. Oh my gosh. Please. No. Please don't do this. Um, that's a disappointment. Then um, we get settled in. We got in pretty late. And so uh, immediately it was like, it's time, time to sleep. So fall asleep. Um, I get the bed and it is creaky as all get out. You make any movement and it's like, Arr! I don't know physically how it is possible to have this creaky of a bed. That is very annoying. I do not deal very well with sleep, uh, with, uh, with, uh, noise when I sleep. That's, I can, I can work through it because obviously when you sleep, you don't move much, but if for any reason you wake up, like it's like so creaky. So then, uh, after the creakiness, uh, for, well, first off, I fall asleep. I, I end up, I do fully fall asleep. Uh, very happy that I fully fell asleep. And, but then about two hours later, I wake up. Creakiness. And I also realize now that there is a, um, there is a light on the building opposite of the building that I'm in. And this light is very, very, very bright. Wait, is that right? Wait, incorrect. We got to put that away. Um, very bright light. And it is shining directly onto the window of the Airbnb. Now, I sleep a lot with light, actually. Now, uh, to me, actually, it's... it's I'm surprised it was actually that big of a deal, but for some reason, first off, there's only mini blinds, so like those aren't gonna do nothing. Um, because it's like they sort of diffuse the light, but it's not like there's blackout curtains. Like if there's blackout curtains, like in most hotels, wouldn't matter. What was that? Did you hear that? That was crazy. Okay, uh, if there's blackout curtains, like in most hotels. Uh, you're totally fine, but there weren't. So, um, uh, I like, and I think it was the, it was the type of light. It was that it was like a strong artificial single source light. Cause I sleep with the sun. Like that doesn't bother me at all, but this was totally bothering me. Like, I just could not fall asleep. So, literally, after I fell asleep for the first two hours, I couldn't sleep at all for the rest of the night. So, I got only two hours of sleep in this stupid Airbnb. The next day, uh, we got out of there. There was a hotel right next door. And it was great. It was fantastic. And the hotel even had um, a, a breakfast in the morning. So it was like so absolutely worth it to leave that place. And I think that that is the last Airbnb I'm ever going to get um, whenever I could just get a hotel instead because useless. Absolutely useless. Now, uh, uh, okay, so that Airbnb situation is uh, is kind of talked about. Um, I also got to... So, after the convention, um, we decided to all go out and get food. All the YouTubers. Oh, oh, that was to say that the YouTubers had been um, hanging out 
the first night of the convention, but because I had only gotten two hours of sleep, I was like, there's no way. Like, I, I can't. Like, right after the convention, I went and got um, some food kind of quickly with uh, Sally Green Gamer, and then I went directly to bed. So I got, like, no socializing the... F hey, can you please... I'm trying to... I, listen, we're trying to make the nether a better place. And here you are, causing issues and trying to blow it up. Please don't. And I'm also going to steal your tears because you're a sad person. Uh, and you don't have any tears? Wow. You are dry. You are dry. You're a very dry person. Just going to say that right now. Dry without tears. I don't know how that happens. Sometimes you can like do activate Elytra somehow and you do this weird jump thing um, as you're moving. But anyway. So uh, the last night was really the only night that I got to hang out with people because because of the sleep issue the day before i forgot about this this one is a different it's not quite lined up okay well here's what we're gonna do we're gonna make sure this is the correct way to do it and there we go um so the last night i got to hang out uh, with some of the guys who uh, came out to the 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 expo and it was awesome now I've I've met in the little wood and I've hung out within the little wood a little bit because of uh, Minecon I, I saw him and Aurelian are, are good friends and of course I'm great friends with Aurelian so um, uh, I, I saw in the little wood at Minecon great guy but uh, got to sit down we ate barbecue together um, also Oh my gosh, Nettie Plays was there, and she is amazing. She, I, I'm just so happy that uh, I actually got to really hang out and and actually get to know her better. And oh my gosh, what an amazing person! Uh, and funny, and oh my gosh, that was uh, just amazing. Also, Tomahawk, um, who I uh, have like seen around, but never really got to talk to. Uh, got to have a great time talking with him. And then once again, Adam, like I said before, uh, where we were talking about comics and uh, Blade Runner and like, oh man, all sorts of stuff. It was just a really, 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 really great time. And I just had so much fun, so much fun at the convention. And um, gosh, I wouldn't trade it for, for anything. I just had just such a great time. Um, and uh, any mind mention, uh, that's in the future, uh, believe me, I'm, uh, I'm going to go there. I'm going to be there. Um, because, and it's been a while since I've gone to a convention and really felt like, really felt like I got to hang out with people that I don't normally hang out with. That is, that is pretty rare for me to feel like I got to connect with someone that I don't normally get to connect with. I normally connect with just the same people over and over and over and over again. And uh, this time it was really cool to uh, to connect with people that um, I don't normally, I'm not always talking to. Oh my God. I now understand why this was made the way that it was is because there's no, there's no floor here. Um, it was it was just great. I'm really happy. And also, of course, I got to meet tons of people. There were so many people in Houston. And reading the comments from uh, last episode, there was a lot of people that said, oh, I got to meet you. And it was so cool. So absolutely neat that uh, they're, oh my gosh. It was just so, so, so cool. Also, uh, they did some stuff that I really liked uh, from like a creator point of view. Um, the way that they set up their meet and greets is that you had kind of like one area. So they had like three different troughs almost, uh, for people to line up in and, um, you, and each trough had like four to five people in it. And then those people would not rotate. That was those people's area. Um, like four to five people, I mean, four to five YouTubers. Um, so you would go up to the, 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 the queue. It was a, it was a big queue. And at the head of the queue, it would say who was going to be, um, at the end of the queue. So for us, for me, right, it says OMG Chad is, is, and then a whole bunch of other people, um, uh, are at the end of this queue. So five, five different people are within the queue. And then, but that was that group's queue 
the whole time, which sounds like a small detail, but is humongous because that means that let's say it's the end of the signing time. In normal situations, when you're sharing a queue with a different group, you got to get up and leave because that next group is here and ready to sign. And because no one else was sharing the queue with us, that means that if we wanted to, we could just stay there. We could just continue signing. We could wait until the whole line was gone. They could decide. They could cap the line and say, "Hey, the, the you know the, the time is over. Sorry, but we could fully get through." the current line it was just such a not it was just a really 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 good uh idea it was a really good idea and i'm glad that they did it um let me think if there's anything that i am forgetting do 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 i don't think i am uh the only other thing that uh, i'd want to say is uh you know i've been playing overwatch and having a good time on overwatch and they just did this uh, this thing where you would play Heroes of the Storm and get Overwatch skins. And holy cow. Okay, so I really badly wanted to do this. But I have been so freaking busy. So freaking busy recently. Incredibly busy, busy recently. And so I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. And I also... I, I, I physically can't say no to projects. I physically cannot say no. Um, it is, it is like a, it is a curse. Um, so I said, I didn't say no to this, uh, project that I got on Thursday and, uh, it was to my detriment and I, uh, am a little regretful. I guess this doesn't really have a good uh, pattern. It doesn't have a specific way. Okay. I, I think I know what I'm going to do. Um, but... Uh, it was for a really, really, really good cause, and but it was going to be a lot of work. And so I put in, I was putting in all that work um, yesterday, and I finally, 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 I finished. And I didn't have the the big thing for the uh, here's the storm thing, is that there is a diva skin, and diva is the character that I play. Um, some people they call them a main. Uh, your main character that you play, and Diva is my is my main, and I wanted oh my god, it's this it's this police officer skin. Oh, looks so good. Just like how you can skin your Minecraft character, it's, it's a little it's a little bit more exciting than that. But um, you can uh, put a put a uh, skin on uh, the character. So good looking. Well, I finished, and uh, I didn't know exactly when. Oh, that's Overwatch. Is that what I heard before? Was that? Apparently, there's been an update. Now it goes bling every time something happens in Overwatch. Okay, well that's annoying as hell. Um, so anyway, so uh, I that's where they are. This is what we want. Okay, perfect. Um, so I uh ended up uh finishing my work at like 2 a.m. And I was so worried that the event, because it was it was the last day of the event, so it was going to stop at some point. I was so worried, so worried that it was going to end while I was trying to get the skin that I wanted so bad. Luckily, I, yeah, it took like five hours to get, and um, uh, my you know great friends, uh, uh, Angel Rosen... Um, uh, frying pan played with me and I ended up getting getting the skin I wanted but I gotta gotta tell you I was like I was so nervous I was so nervous that we'd be playing a game and I'd be like the overwatch event is over thanks for playing everybody goodbye get out of here yeah, don't let the door hit you on the way out and uh that would have been it that would have been all she wrote and I would have been so upset but luck would have it that uh, that is not how it worked, and everything was totally fine. And I ended up getting my diva skin that I was terrified that I wouldn't be able to get. So, good things, good good things. What is this? Is this mine? I'm confused. What is this? This is crazy. Um. Okay, I think that I am gonna wrap it up for this episode. Just had tons to talk about about mind fair and some of the stuff that happened. Uh, there's still tons more to talk about um, 
Oh, I, oh, 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 and part of the people who I got to hang out with that I don't normally get to hang out with Gizzy was Gizzy, Gizzy Gaza. Uh, I love that guy. And so I got to hang out with Gizzy um, a little bit, which uh, I don't normally get to do. So uh, that was fantastic as well. Okay, perfect. I think this is going to be just, just great. Um, okay, uh, thanks so much for watching. Let's go look at our progress. I think it's uh, pretty good. This is what I was thinking about doing. I need to straighten this out, but... Uh, we're going to have uh, the half slabs in most uh, areas and then these full slabs as uh, decoration. And uh, we'll set it up so that you never, you shouldn't ever have to walk on the uh, the full slabs, the full blocks, full slabs, full blocks uh, to get anywhere. Yeah, we may need to bring this in. I'm just realizing now because you might want to cut across to get over to Badge's place or some other place. Um, but yeah, this is what uh, I think uh, we're going to do. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, it is fantastic that uh, you're here, and I will see you next episode. Bye!